Hey everyone, this is another After Effects tutorial. I got a great question from Ahmad from Facebook, uh, and he was asking, how do you create one of those highlight boxes in After Effects where you highlight text or a certain part of the screen in After Effects, so just like you're seeing here. And it's actually really easy, so I wanted to create a quick tutorial in case anyone else has a, this problem as well. So let's get straight to it. So say you have your video, right here I'm using the constitution as our video, but it could be video, it could be text, it could be anything. It's going to be in a composition. So you might need to put it in a new composition in After Effects. So go ahead and create a composition. You can do it by just clicking that button down here for creating a new composition. Set your parameters, the size 1920 by 1080 or whatever you're using, the duration eight seconds, that's fine for us and just hit OK. Then take the video that you're using, here I'm using an image of the Constitution, and I'm just going to scale it down. So I put in that image, I dropped it down into the composition, I pressed S to bring up scale, and I scaled it down to something like 65%, and I just put it in the center of my composition. Now we need to create that black box that goes around this text. An easy way to do that is by creating a new solid. You can press Command Y on your keyboard if you're using a Mac or Control Y if you're using a PC. Make sure that it is set to black. Hit OK. And now that will create a full black solid. It's the size of your composition, so 1920 by 1080. Press T over the black solid text and bring up opacity and drop it down to like 75 or so. So this is the final, basically, where we want the opacity to be, except for a box around the text. For this example, we're doing a box around we the people. To do that, click your pen tool up here, or you can use the mask tool or the shape tool if you are doing text that is not slanted. But for me, I'm using the pen tool, and this allows you to create no whatever type of shape you want. It doesn't have to necessarily be a box. And then just click around the text that you want to highlight. So four corners and make sure you connect it so that it closes. Now that's not exactly what we want, so we're going to go back under mask. Where it says mask one, we can either chain, click this inverted button or change the add to subtract. So that looks pretty good, but I wanna clean it up a little bit. So I'm going to press F on my keyboard. That brings up the mask feather. And as you can see, when I drag this up, it creates a feathering effect around this mask. And that just looks makes it look a little bit better in my opinion. There's no right or wrong way to do it. You can have it be at zero. You don't need to feather it. But I like a little bit of feathering. So I'm just going to do 100 pixels. So that's basically what you do. And then you have to add the uh, opacity transition. So how does this fade on from where it's off to on? So press T on your keyboard to bring up opacity. Click that stopwatch button. That sets a keyframe for the opacity at 75%. Then go to the point in the video where you want it to come onto the screen. So for us, let's say we want it to be at three seconds. And then go back about one second or so, maybe a second and a half, and drop the opacity down to zero. So now if we RAM preview this, I'm doing that by hitting zero on the number pad of my keyboard. And you can see that it now has that transition going from no little highlight box to the highlight box. The one other thing that I did in this other composition was add a little bit of motion to this video. Uh, this isn't something you would te technically have to do, but it adds a little bit of style to it. What you do is first parent this black solid to the constitution layer or whatever video layer you're using and then hit the scale property for constitution, just by hitting S, set it there, and then go forward to the end and increase the size. So now it's increasing as well as doing this little highlight box thing. So this is a very cool effect. I hope you enjoyed it. If And then afterwards, if you want to, of course, get out of this highlight, you just set a keyframe again by hitting this little diamond over here 
going forward of a second and a half or so and going back to zero because you'll want it to come on and then off in a nice fashion. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know about this tutorial, but also hit me up on Facebook, hit me up on YouTube. You can find me at videoschoolonline.com or just search for Video School Online on whatever platform you're using. And if you have problems like this and want a video tutorial or a direct answer, I'll, I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. So again, thanks Ahmad for the great question and we'll see you in another tutorial. Have a great day, guys.